Hey y'all, my name is Chelsea Sheridan and I serve as the Assistant Director of Student Organization Management here at the University of Mississippi. I hope you enjoyed the previous session from my colleague, Jordan Lang, Assistant Director of Student Activities, covering all the ways that you can get involved here at the University of Mississippi. Now that you've learned all that we have to offer, I thought it might be helpful to go over how you can start browsing these opportunities and getting to know our engagement hub called The Forum while you were home this summer. So to start, what is The Forum? The Forum is the University of Mississippi's online engagement platform that is home to our over 400 plus registered student organizations, which you'll hear us commonly and affectionately refer to as RSOs. So first, let's get you to the website and get you logged in. So you'll see at the top of my browser that the direct web address for this platform is olemiss.edu slash forum. It'll bring you to this landing page. I like to describe this page as the public facing page that folks who are not faculty, staff, or students can see. So if you have siblings or parents or other folks who are not attending the University of Mississippi and they're interested in what's happening on campus, they can use this navigation bar to see what our community has deemed public information for them to see. Now, you were recently assigned a credential package from Ole Miss that gets you into your Blackboard account to register for classes, as well as get into your My Ole Miss. Those very same credentials can be used to sign in here on this top right-hand corner blue button to get you into the main page of our platform. Once you're in and signed in, you'll see that my avatar has popped up. I encourage you all to get into your account, upload a photo, kind of put a face to the name, and update some of your information so that as you start to browse these opportunities and you request information about organizations, folks can see who you are and what you're all about. So as a student, when you log into this main page, you'll see these yellow stickies. These are always updated with something that is pertinent to campus um, happenings, events, um, information that we find to be helpful for the time period. So as we know, we're in the middle of a global crisis and the stickies that are currently up are providing our students information that can help them navigate through this very different and challenging time away from campus. So the first thing I'd love to show you is if you click on organizations at the very top navigation bar, this will bring you to a comprehensive list of all student organizations that have been registered for the 2019-2020 academic year. You'll see at the very bottom, there are over 434 to browse from. So if that's a little intimidating to you to scroll through all 434, I encourage you to potentially search for a keyword in this top left-hand box or to go into categories and select things that are maybe um, as of interest to your major or to an extracurricular hobby. So if you're going to school for pharmacy and you really want to be in an RSO that supplements your academic experience, these are all the ones that are going to potentially be able to fit that bill. Now, another important piece of information here is everybody uses their portals in a different way. So you'll see that some of them have um, avatars, some of them do not. Don't be discouraged if you see the differences in people's profiles. They all just have a unique um, subset of information that is the most appropriate for them and their organization. Now, the next thing I'd love to show you is the other tab at the very top called events. So as you make your way to campus in the fall, they, this will be peppered with all the different in, information from campus departments and events from our registered student organizations. This will include welcome week activities, campus recreation, and everything that's happening on campus so that you can feel comfortable drilling down what your interests are and what um, kind of makes you want to attend an event to see what's happening on campus. So this is a strange time to be kind of navigating these things. You can see here that we have some programming that is virtual from campus recreation and from our friends over in the Division of Diversity and Community Engagement, as well as our Student Activities Association, who um, are all hosting virtual programs. This will look a lot different once we do return to campus and you'll see all the different fun things that our student orgs and campus departments have to offer our students. You can drill down by tomorrow, this weekend. You can drill down to themes, whether it's an athletic event, a social event, perks, if you want free food, if you want a t-shirt. You can truly kind of customize to your interests so you can see what is happening from day to day and how you can best plug yourself in to get yourself involved in the places and spaces that make the most sense to you and your interests. 
Now, the last thing I want to cover in this video really quickly is if you head over to your avatar over here, the very first option, if you click on it, is Event Pass. You might see as you come to campus and some of the larger, more signature programs might require you to scan an event pass to come in. This is mostly just because we work on a collegiate campus and our students and our faculty and staff are always interested to see how the attendance of our events shakes out to be and who comes and who um, stays, all that fun stuff. So if you are being asked to scan an event pass, this is completely unique to you. You'll see that my name is on my event pass. I'm able to add it to my Apple wallet if I was on my phone. This will be what you scan on your phone and bring it up on your web browser to track your personal attendance at an event. So if an event is requiring this, it is super easy to access on your phone. It's the very same process I just showed you to get into Forum on a desktop. And it will be your new best friend as you head into all the programming that our fall semester will have to offer you. So that's all I have for this video, but now that we have the basics of forum covered, I'd love for you to pop into the next tutorial covering how to join groups, message groups, and host events.